Boom. He came right up, dude. He came right up to the bank. Oh. Whoa. Fuck. Ooh. That's a good one. Pretty enough to eat. So I got that's gonna do it for today. Yeah. All right, we're back at the house, you guys. Uh, what we got here is those uh, catfish that we uh, pulled out of the water, and uh, right here we got all that uh, gar meat from those uh, two little gar we pulled out. Those are just the back straps, of course. And I got the catfish cut up in big sections here with the tail on because I like it all crunchy. Okay, so I already squeezed the lime in that bad boy inside this one and in this one, half each. What I'm going to do is, uh, I got this right here, it's just in a cumin bottle, but uh, there's turmeric in here, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and um, a couple other key ingredients since all mixed up already. And that turmeric is going to give it color. We're going to go ahead and use this one for the gar here. So I'll put some of this, just like that. And like I said, it's already been marinated in lemon. Just like that. Yeah, gar flesh, gar meat. If you don't throw it on ice right away or keep it alive, preferably right before you use it, that meat will get all soft, it'll get all mushy. So I had these on ice all night. This is the next day, and um, but the meat's still nice and firm, but you could tell if, it, if, if you leave it too long, it'll start getting real soft. Catfish, it's catfish, it's catfish. Always does its thing. And for catfish, we're going to use the bold Creole seasoning. I think that'll be all right, y'all. Sprinkle that in there. All right, that should do it. Give that a little stir. Yeah, I went ahead and bled, uh, bled them all. Cut the toe off. Cut the head off, hang them upside down for a little bit. All the blood comes out. Gives it a nice, cleaner taste. Of course, you can't go wrong with that lemon. A little bit of spice. All right, we're going to let these bad boys sit like that just for a few minutes. So what I got here is some uh, seasoned frying flour. Just like that. Put a little bit in there. All right, and for the egg wash, we're just gonna use a little bit of water. So we're gonna dip the fish in. All right, so we got all our stuff ready to go. We got our marinade and seasoned gar marinating seasoned catfish we got the egg wash ready to go and the frying flour that's already been seasoned we'll put some oil on there we're gonna go ahead and deep fry these bad boys so we're gonna throw a lot of oil hey cracking. there's the man of the hour What's hey up? hannah What's up? how you doing good this is the guy i've been waiting for right here watch y'all been up too. yeah uh, well, they've probably been up to watching the last video we just did, part nice, one of the catch of and cook thing. Oh, yeah. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do the cook part yeah. of the part of the catch and cook yeah. video yeah. of those two catfish and two and gar, two gar we yeah. caught. Hell He's never yeah. tried gar before. Nope. We're going to try to get those bad boys. You have not either? Okay, then we're going to have to get down on that. You ready to get started, bro? Hell yeah, let's get it. Let's do it. And here's the catfish right there. Oh, yeah. Ready to go. They go on punks. So what we're going to do is we're going to just one, two, three, four. All right, first one. I'm just going to do one, and we're going to, that's how we're going to do it. All right, let's do that one first. Put in the egg wash, just like that. Get in the flour. Egg wash, just an egg, a little bit of water. Yeah. Throw a little bit of flour in there, just kind of thicken it up. And there you go, just like that. 
Okay, that oil should be hot enough. And if you want to learn how to test it, you just grab a little bit of flour and drop it in there. If that flour starts to fry up, yep. like you just did now, it should be okay. So, let's do the first one. Mmm. Just like that. Hell yeah. You got the idea, y'all. What do you think, man? God, that's that's some quality H2 fish. So, uh, what do you think about the gar? What, what do you think is gonna happen? Gar? I think it's gonna be spectacular. I set a hook and the, the whole bait just came out. Yeah, because a crop, a crop, a, 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 I mean, a, even a small crappie head is still like a pretty good yeah. size triangle. Yeah, it'll still take it yeah. five, ten minutes you, to you eat it, right? Teeth? And yeah, it, 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 it was a gar trying to yeah. chew on it and swallow it. You can but see the holes in that bitch, dude. It gar's throat gar. so small, yeah. you know, they they need a, a, a fillet, a piece, a yeah, small, tiny piece. That, yeah, that's what we were doing after him. Smaller well, the better. Oh, I had another one, but I think I waited too long. Because whenever I went to go set hook, there was nothing on it. Hell yeah. And got foggy. Got the batter sticking to the ring. This is what it takes, y'all, to get into a gar. Ten snips right here. Alright, we're about ten minutes in now. We're gonna check on these bad boys. We got this pretty golden brown color that we're looking for Earth, right here. It's almost. Mm. No, I don't wanna burn them. I just wanna cook them nice and soft but crunchy on the outside. Look at that one. Alright, about five more minutes. When those bubbles go away, that means all the water evaporated and we're good. Yeah. See you when I see you. You get the idea. Let me get the rest of these out. Finish the beer. Uh, here's the last of the catfish right here. The magic of television. It's done. Not not store bought. I know exactly where it came from, right, brother? Hell yeah. We know exactly oh, yeah. where this came from. You know what? You know what's next? That gar. The gar. You ready? All the gar. You ready? I'm ready. Let's Hannah, see what you ready for that gar? I'm ready. Have you tried? Let's okay. Go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Awesome. Bam! That's gonna go and stay warm in the oven. We're gonna go ahead and put these bad boys. You know what? I can put the whole thing in there because that's not a big deal. Not that much. I mean. But um, they only have a back strap. There's not really a fillet to them. They got like a back strap to them. All right, here's the gar meat. It's going right into the flour. We're just gonna do the whole thing. Just on a little here. Gonna mix that around. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. He's been marinating for a couple hours here. And you know what? I like to start off all my fish with just lemon straight up. The mm. citric acid, yep. it's a disinfectant, it's a natural preservative, not to mention the flavor. Right. You here? You ready? All right, let's do it. I'll see what's going on. All right, let me get to you when it's out. There's that gar right there, looking like some chicken strips. That's the kind of problem you want to have, I guess, huh? Here's the gar coming out. Nice golden brown. Mm. 
like that. And that's how winning is done. All right, man. First time tasting Gar. Receipt. Hannah. Eli. Yep. There it is right there. Right here. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. That's really good. What the heck? That's a badass fish. Tell the folks out there what you think about Gar. Dude, I'll scope one to ten on fish. Gar. Gar's definitely top top up there. What what about the texture? What, 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 compare it can, can compare it to anything at all or? Um hmm. It's pretty soft. Uh -huh. Softer than pretty I soft. Thought. Just tastes like a beautiful fish, dude. Yeah. Honestly, probably like one of the best ones mm -hmm. that I've had. Well, yeah. really. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna kill that. Thumbs <laughs> up. <laughs> hey guys, I appreciate you all hanging out and uh, chilling out with us in the house. Seeing how we prepare all, we, all, our, all our stuff and how we catch it and, and get it home and cook it and everything like that. We always uh, like to, you know, use what we, what, we, what we catch, man. And I see a lot of videos on YouTube and stuff where they catch all these fish and all this and that and there, but they never show you what, what they do to them afterwards, you know. Kind of makes me ask questions and wonder what, but, you know, so you guys know. Wow. I, I'm for real, and I, and I do it all the way. And Tom. you end up with something like that. Either catch and release or catch and release into the grease. Either way. There you go. What do you think, baby? Delicious. <laughs> you got yourself some gar and catfish there. Hey, I hope you enjoy watching Oscar Outdoors, y'all. Stay tuned.